Send it. Here we go. Oh, shoot. What happened? Well, no, we're, we're moving. We're on. We're on? We're live? We're on. Yes. We're live. Yeah. Hell but, yeah. I yes. thought you spilled something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, we're Whoopsie. good. Yeah. Whoopsie. Uh, no, just keep going. Oh God, no. Hopefully, hopefully, we're, hopefully, welcome to Dad Meet. Hell yeah. Give hey or guys. take. Yes. Hi. What? Uh, our best friend in the world, John McKeever, is welcome, here. John. Hey guys. For for anyone that's listening and not watching. Uh, What's up? Happy uh, birthday, buddy. Thanks very wow, much, man. dude. I just thirty-five, like, dude. I mean, I feel like it's uh, I'm cresting the hill, and. Uh, this is this is uh, they say a lot of people don't suck their own bird after 35. <laughs> you gonna change that? <laughs> this is the birthday where I'm like, no, I'm I'm closer yeah. than ever. I'm not gonna back down now. Yeah, dude. But I I feel like a lot of my haters, some uh, even some people that like say they care about me, I feel like they don't really want it for me. I'm hearing a lot you of empty suck talk. Your own bird? Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of empty talk. Like, dude, I believe in you. I, feel, I like you're gonna you're gonna suck your own bird this year. I know it. And like, I I want to believe that it's genuine. But there's part of me that's like. Do they really even think that, or are they just trying to make me feel better? Tim, the next time you meditate, <laughs> I want you to picture yourself struggling to suck yourself, and then John and I appearing, and each of us holding an ankle. Not going to be yeah, hard. Bring you I, closer. I, yeah, I, I meditate with my toes on the floor behind my head. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's. I don't want to say I, that's how I center myself, but I, I don't have a better way to describe it. So it's the eighth uh, chakra. So <laughs> <laughs> Does it go soft when you're trying to get it in there? Yeah, there's like um Cuz I feel like the 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 focus would soften my bones. Yeah, it's like try, it's like it's like trying to jam a uh, ice cream cone into a volcano. <laughs> it's like the closer an erect penis gets to your open mouth, like the more gun shy you get, like the less the less uh, aroused you feel. Yeah. But, I, I imagine it's like the incinerator scene from Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy story. So, yeah, I you know it's gonna happen. I'm making gains. I, there's no way. There, I don't have an internet. I don't have a like a subreddit <laughs> to post my gains, gains on. Yeah. <laughs> like you know when you when you nail some squats and you get out of the gym and you can feel like your sweatpants yeah. kind of shelving on the back of your butt. Yeah. You can't do that with sucking your own meat. Dude, start a subreddit. G a y n s. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, don't find. Uh, you think it's, you think I'm coming over here all loosey goosey on my birthday? It's time to start playing. Would it be fair to say uh, you could be the next Miss Gross. Watson? No. <laughs> the next what? You heard me right. No, I don't. I don't. Why don't stop, you fucking stop, say stop, it again stop, in my face, stop, dude? Stop, stop, <laughs> stop. This is a horrible knife I have. Uh, yeah. You seem kind of underarmed. I don't. I don't know. I don't know, man. I got two though. I'm not fucking. I'm not fucking scared of you, dude. Wait, wait. wait. I'm on your side, dickhead. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you never know. like that, John. You never know when you got a knife. Yeah. John, have you ever tried to There's suck no your friends own meat? in a knife fight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I remember when I was like 12. I don't know how to shut this. I don't want to sit with it. <laughs> um, yeah, that was my issue. It was like, uh, it just it just softens up. I felt like I had to put oh, like uh, ink on it to know if it hit my chin or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to give yourself like a gauge. Like, all right, I'm getting, I'm making gains, dude. Yeah. It's like when you measure yourself yeah. in a doorway, you're just like a little bit closer. Right? Yeah, dad, you mind snapping a chalk line? <laughs> We were thinking about making a, a dad meat shirt that was printed upside down starting at the bottom of the back. So that like, <laughs> as yourself sucking on the floor. So you, so you can read this, I'm coming to my mouth. <laughs> That's it, dude. That's what that it like I don't God I don't damn. I don't know why I would consider anyone a dad meat fan, but if you're a dad meat fan, you're part of the slurp squad. <laughs> <laughs> And 2021, we're slurping, we're slurping ourselves more than ever before. Damn! If you can read this, the dick fell in. <laughs> Isn't that just shirts like the, yeah, the bitch this, fell the off? The <laughs> <laughs> that was, I think it would still work on the sucking your own dick shirt. Yeah, yeah true, it's true. <laughs> if you got that printed on your dick, if you got that tattooed on your dick. dude, we could get body bumper stickers too. <laughs> uh, it's just tattoos, Mike. Body bumper stickers. <laughs> <are> just tattoos. <laughs> So uh, th yeah. So any in conclusion, thank you for all the birthday wishes. Um, also, what's up to the YouTube chat? I see you guys popping off in there. Like I said, dude, I'm not backing down. We're slurping. We're slurping harder. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> 2021. All my boys slurping. Here's 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 the agreement we're all gonna make for January 1st. No one is touching their penis in 2021. Not one. Not, not with their hands. I don't want anyone in the slurp squad. To come until it's in their own mouth. 
Uh, that sounds like a recipe a for a bunch order. of mass shooters, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do not jerk off, dude. Yeah. Bunch of RV recordings getting, <laughs> getting laid down right yeah. now. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. It's going to be blasting dad meat. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bomb went off. Yeah. Yeah. So if, uh, if you guys are comfortable with I don't want to put anyone outside of their comfort zone, but I would say that if you're serious... Uh, that's that's the agreement. You're not touching that fucking PP with your hands, only with your mouth. Mm. <laughs> I'm close. And I, I don't want any fucking cheaters f- throwing fucking jump shots. It's got to be in your mouth when you come. Don't like, oh, I'm basically there and, f- and finish yourself with your hand. That doesn't count. Oh, I'm like trying to ch- catch it like a cheese it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you're at hibachi. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> no, we, this isn't about getting cum in your mouth. It's about getting your fucking meat in your mouth. Mm. Yeah. You understand me? This isn't even like an erotic thing. It's just like getting no, fucking, dude. Yeah, be a man and suck your own sort dick. yourself out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be so funny if that was the only thing. Like, if you changed one thing about Jordan Peterson, is that he was just always talking about sucking your own dick. <laughs> no, use your pronouns. Just suck your own goddamn meat. <laughs> I, I, look, look at the lobsters. Go, go to go to any ocean. They're, the they're sucking themselves. <laughs> the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Around uh, two hundred year, two hundred million years ago, we we uh, diverged uh, genetically from the, uh, the sand crab, and he's been sucking his own meat ever since. Look at the song, darling. It's better down where it's wetter. Where do you think it's wetter? His dick's in his mouth. <laughs> you got a fucking knife in your hand. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! This is my uncle outfit. Ah, oh, dude, am I being? I'm, it's no, it's no character, bro. <laughs> Sorry, someone in the chat pointed out I'm wearing the uncle outfit. I Looks guess you good. know what? It's a good look. You know what? No, I wore it for you, dude. I'm I celebrating you. I like it. I like it. I'm celebrating all of your your n- most recent success. Uh, I would say there's a lot of ways that uh, you just you can't avoid success, and I just think that you've just got you know some new recent success to celebrate. That's all it is. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I'm gonna be fucking touching my bird later. <laughs> Get, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't wait until you put an honest effort in and like you you hit the back of your throat. You're like, whoa, gee, I didn't expect it. To, oh, uh, John, yeah. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude, chill. Now, John, how how startled would your wife be if she walked in on you doing that? You think it would be she would cheer you on or? <laughs> no, it would. It would definitely be. It would be disappointment. <laughs> It'd be disappointment. She puts in a lot of work as a, as a as a very good wife. If I, she came in and saw me doing that, she'd be like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> Like just trying to see if I can get it right. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no, nah, she wouldn't. She wouldn't take that. She'd be expecting like pointers. You know, what I mean? she'd be like, "Don't, don't fucking think that you go around sucking bird now, and you're gonna tell me a thing or two." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah, the thing I is, I, Ooh. I'm a cramper. I cramp hard. Yeah. So if somebody, so I would have to focus on not cramping. And then once I got in position, and someone walked in, I would yank. Yeah. And two, three, two or three things would pull. Yeah. And it, I'd probably just be like that. Like one of those insects that rolls up. Yeah. And then you got to like use a stick to fucking open them back up. You'd have to go to a chiropractor. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right, don't fucking do that. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you know, you saying that now makes me think of that. That at some point tomorrow, I'll be Googling sucking own dick with herniated discs. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. Fuck. They actually call the, uh, the 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 particular disc that you slip. They call that duck sickers <laughs> dick suckers palsy. <laughs> duck sickers. Dude. I'm a very tired fella. <laughs> I've had a long day. I had one of those startling moments at my dad's house today, where it was like, uh, "All right, Tim, pump the brakes." Uh, it was because we You're were talking about dick sucking over dinner. Pretty much. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were we just eaten big bowls of chili. My dad makes my favorite chili in the mm-hmm. entire world. And I don't even know if he knew that. I think yeah. I just, he was just like, well, it's chili today. Yeah. Uh, so started anyway. crying. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I, was, I cried on the phone. I was like, thank you, man. <laughs> but we go, we go over there. I'm taking my post chili nap. Oh. And uh, Fritz is jumping off of the steps onto the side of the couch like he's landing on this like flat on his chest. So he's going he's trying to see how many steps he can go up. And jump off the steps and land on the side of the couch. Yeah. And everyone's kind of like, stop, friends, don't do that anymore. But we're also like, damn, how many steps is he going to make? <laughs> <laughs> so it ruled. And by the time he's on like step four, he's hitting the side of the couch, landing on his, his chest and ribs so hard. They're like, oh my God, he's going to get fucked up, even if he keeps landing it. And Mary Jo was like, yeah, he's going to, he's, it looks like he hurt his ribs. And then uh, we were talking about taking him to the hospital again. Because yeah, that's our inside joke in the house is that my three year old gets horrifically injured every time we record a podcast. Mm-hmm. So uh, he lands super hard on his, on his torso, 
and she's talking about taking him to the hospital and I grabbed her and I was pretending, pretending to be a, a doctor and I was like, I, I, I can't believe I'm the one to have to tell you this, but I don't think your son is ever going to suck his own dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I only, I didn't like yell it, but I didn't whisper it. And I, as, as she didn't, so sometimes she'll not laugh when something's funny uh-huh. because then, then it's funnier. And I looked around, I just had a horrified living room full of people that it's like the... Why would you say that? Dude, that's birthday talk. Why would you make that? I was like, dude, I had too much soda today. My bad. <laughs> Maybe it's because they're like, don't ever talk about somebody like, he'll suck his own dick. Yeah. Like, don't you think take it's funny, you think yeah. it's funny to, to say that your son will never suck his own dick? He'll, st- he'll suck his <laughs> Maybe that, yeah. He's trying why to break would you, why would, ribs yeah. and Oh, I misread it. it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. He's giving you pointers. Yeah. I thought I, said, I thought I said something out of line for a minute. It turns out, it's just like, come on, dude, don't wish that on your, your don't jinx your son like that. <laughs> Cut down in the prime of his life. Before he could even suck his own meat, dude. That's how that's how dick sucking, self sucking porn stars are made. It's just one minute they're jumping off the steps, the next minute they're Sonic the Hedgehogging themselves yeah. across the floor. They hit, they hit, they hit their ribs on a radioactive bed frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's a superpower. Yeah. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to round up some of uh, my favorite uh, feedback on Uncle Daycare and just uh, oh, read yeah? it. To you. I ended up not doing it, but. Uh, because it would very quickly like after the first one would be like very corny but my favorite sentiment was like uh, someone praising it mm-hmm. on, it was on the uh, the uh, videos subreddit and it, someone was like now this you can tell really went through a ton of script revisions and they really locked it down before any camera rolled yeah. Really? Yeah, this guy was like, this guy broke down how you made the sketch. Yeah, no. And it was like, <laughs> it was like, this was a tight script that that didn't get mucked with. No, no, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Nothing but mucked with. Yeah, and he was like, this is what happened. And someone else replied to him and was like, oh, it's weird that you know you didn't see this and this. And the guy was like, exactly my point, dude. This was a, a waterproof script, and they nailed every single line in it. See, uh, yeah, isn't it crazy that people think that that's even possible? <laughs> Like, I don't think there's any really good movie, especially comedies that are like, uh, the script is good. They get like, they get the beats and they're like, all right, let's get the funny people to do what they do. Well, mm-hmm. that that guy, I assure you, teaches improv. For, for sure. For or sure. teaches sketch. He charges for like a script writing class yeah. of some sort. And then you're like, what? I always wonder like, what are their credentials to get that? Mm-hmm. Like what, how do you trick a school into letting you teach? Like I've seen a couple of these where it's like they teach sketch writing. I'm like. I think what I think you, the I'm sorry. Finish. No offense. I just uh, I don't get. I think the, where do you get off? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. The jig is that I think s- so few people um, outside of our little world have actually done it that you can figure out what to say to get somebody to believe you. Yeah. And they probably send in clips where they edited in laughter. Be like, here, dude, the, the clip speaks for itself. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a good point. I just or think it's like community like college where you take enough classes that they make you a teacher. It's like I've taken this many script writing classes. I know yeah. exactly what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Well, it's like it's like there's there's like beats to a script. Like you write the script. Like certain things were scripted and certain things obviously weren't. Like, I mean, like like the with the cutaway to Kylo when she's at the window. Mm-hmm. It's like that's scripted because you have to like you have to kind of get a point across like in that moment, right? Yeah. But then like when there's scenes like with uh, the conspiracy class, the only stuff that's scripted is like, this is conspiracy class. We read them books so that they debunk some of their conspiracies. And then like the back and forth thing, it's like you guys just like kept building that up. Like the, what if the vaccine turns him gay? That was scripted. But then he's like, like what happened with me? Mm-hmm. And it's like that elevates that to a whole funnier level. We Ten also times we also wrote most of the conspiracies on the board. We just yeah, there, we just lined right up there. to take turns writing conspiracies on the board. Oh, the Hunter Biden thing! It was like that was so funny. I was like, I'm just leaving that in over B roll, and that kind of shit winds up being the funniest stuff. And then you just like, like here's the beats. Here's how we get from A to B. Here's how it bleeds into the next scene. And then you're like, ah, there's so much good stuff. Do we have to like? I don't know. It's like the the fucking tree thing. Mm-hmm. That we oh the, man, we that's a fucking, teaser. That's a yeah. teaser for the Patreon. Which we're going to show, which uh, was a scene from Uncle Daycare that we're going to show that wasn't in the final cut that we're going to show in the Patreon episode. Yeah. So I, I haven't seen it yet because uh, it, it, it was terrible quality on my phone. But uh, I remember the clip that we're going to show on the Patreon. I don't know if it comes through in the recording, but when Mike was doing, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in yeah. my entire life. It was very, <laughs> very, very, very funny. I was, and I, you know what, I, I, I you know, you, you hate to like get into like how the sausage is made, especially for like a fucking YouTube sketch show. But the the reason I want to, I'm, I don't, I'm fine talking with it is because 
every step of the way it was the most fun and i've i've ever, every time we do something like this every time from start to finish it's the most fun i've ever had and yeah. it's like every time it's mm -hmm. the most fun i've ever had mm -hmm. yeah so that's that's what that's the reason that i felt okay just talking about the nitty-gritty of it one of the big challenges in any of the stuff that we do together is and i notice it too like a lot of times not only this podcast but anytime tim and i are on podcast together like i i know as soon as something happens that somebody is going to say, and it's usually Tim is going to say the funniest fucking thing that I will hear that day. Sure, yeah. So there's a lot of times, like for instance, when um, when Brian Gallagher came running in to say that his character's uh, daughter just got hollered at by Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found myself like looking to Tim, just knowing that he was going to say something that was going to make me laugh harder than it was going to make me laugh all day. And he did. And the worst part was that fucking my dad told me I can't. My mom told me I can't talk to the kids. <laughs> yeah. Was out of focus in both shots. Oh. Uh -huh. And they, totally I don't dramatic. know if you remember, but like in that moment, it was like, hurry up, let's get this scene, let's get this scene. And then like, I was like, I guess we got it because no one said like it's out of focus. Yeah. Not that it's anybody's fault, but man, when he said well, that, I, I was like, fuck yeah. Like, just, just like you said, <laughs> like he said it and you're like, yes, we got it. We can move on. But I don't know. I was very happy with it. You guys fucking killed it. You knocked it out of the park. For sure, dude. Oh, you make Again. it easy for everybody. Another just, day at the office. Another day at the office, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Come on. Come I can't. On. Uh, yeah. I'm just so happy that we're still doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is this is, this is the whole reason we started Dad Muse because I felt like a loser after Delco Proper fell apart, and I was never gonna make anyone yeah. laugh. I made a promise, dude. I I told my wife in the kitchen. I was like, I I promise you, for as long as I live, I will never make anyone laugh again. And no. and yeah. I and I tried to stick to it for a while. <laughs> and then and I, might, I might I might still be people doing just it. fucking laughing. No, I, I like I, the opposite yeah. of Scrooge. I might <laughs> like cracking people over like, ah. shut the fuck up, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> you don't fucking laugh. Yeah, dude, you should get yeah. a ventriloquist style and stick to that promise of like the dummy has to say everything from here on out. <laughs> yeah. Why would I? Why would I fucking do that, dude? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. Ooh, well, why would I fucking spend money on dolls? Well, maybe the reason why I thought it was because the dummy would have no problem sucking his own dick, but I don't think you have what it takes. This is how court used to be. Is, <laughs> you guys are technically lawyers in the 1800s. That's like, if there's like a one court technicality that everyone tries to avoid because the only way to resolve is that we both have to just jam them like, like in our own thighs and just not break eye contact. Commence jabs. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Yeah, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Fuck. Nah, don't worry about Oh, that. I don't think Delco would have been as funny as... Uh... You're capable of being anyway. Oh no, but it all comes back to like I just I man I can't believe we just get to fucking hang out with our boys and yeah. I, get I feel like this is the way to do it. Mouth. You make your own thing, do it however you want. I feel like if you do it for a company, then the company's like, all right, here's how I want you to make your show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that that's how they sound. Uh, <laughs> well, it's close. Are you about to rub your hands yeah. together? Um, <laughs> I actually think it's weird if you say that to her. <laughs> we got a lot of those notes. It's like I don't think Tommy should do that. Oh, that um, was the weirdest. That was the weirdest part of yeah. of making Uncle Daycare was that th that didn't happen. Yeah, nobody came over and like I don't think that would happen. I don't think they would say okay. that. Yeah, so every time every time we made something, especially like Delco, I would uh, I would kind of like we we know that John's gonna uh, like edit something forever. He's gonna be like locked in like a dark room with a computer, and I like you don't want to like bother him, but you do want to be like hey, how's the how's the like how's the pie look basically? Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> Every single time we've made anything where someone was like investing in it, it was like I could I could feel John like retyping a message to like let me know that something I did was completely like out of bounds and they, they said no thank you. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's basically it. That happened every that happens every fucking time. All right, I oh knew the it. butthole thing. I don't mind talking about this. What is Comedy Central gonna fucking sue me? They're already dealing with uh yeah. Chappelle. Give me my show back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dude, Isn't tell him to take, that tell him to take the Delco proper web series off of ComedyCentral.com. Uh, yeah, I want to do a special. Get the fuck out smoke, and I'm like, I can take it. <laughs> uh, but what the? F yeah, in the beginning of Delco, I remember I was on a, a chain with like 30 fucking lawyers. It was about the opening scene where Tim says gaping asshole. And he's like, yeah, but I didn't see your gaping asshole. I don't even think it stayed in the final cut. I think it did. It? Yeah, it did. Oh, it did yeah. because we fought for it. But I remember uh, <laughs> one lawyer sent me an email. And then I would say, I'm not getting seven more lawyers I talked to. And it was all about how you write gaping asshole. And they were like, you can say like big asshole or bleep gaping and leave asshole or keep gaping and bleep asshole. They didn't want them together. Did you have to talk to an attorney who specializes in gaping asshole law? I mean, it, yeah, it definitely felt like that. It felt like... Uh, <laughs> it felt like the way he was talking about it was such limited punctuation. He was like, I've had this email before. <laughs> um, but yeah, he finally was like, I was like, listen, the, the he was like, the inference 
is that this girl gets fucked in her butt so much that it's loose. Yeah. That's like, so what? So what? Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's, isn't it weird to say that in such that a sounds fucking... That badass. That's a yeah. badass woman. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That sounds like dude, something so you, you say at someone's eulogy. Like yeah, she, yeah. she got fucked in her butt so much. Yeah, she was a proud sex worker. Yeah. Sure. She's... Anyways, that was the kind of notes we got all the time. Wow. Dude. It was always about Tim. Because <laughs> Tim would say something, they'd be like, wow, that's like weird. And we'd be like, yeah, it's funny, though. And they're like, I don't know. Yeah. And then they would show us stuff my, that like, my they dad liked. got on the email chain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they would show us shit they liked, and we were like, all right, well. Yeah. That, yeah, that was why for a long time I walked around with the guilt that I sank your TV show. No, no. I sank my TV show. Well, I sank my TV show very, very hard because I should have just not listened to them. Right. That was it. I got a bunch of fucking emails. I fucking caved because I was broke. I yeah. had a pregnant wife, and they were essentially holding my money. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, give us more revisions. Yeah. And they were just holding a sack of my money. And I'd be like, oh, what revisions were do you want? Were they still able to do this while they were holding your oh, money? Oh, yeah. They, yeah. Well, they <laughs> oh hired someone God. behind yeah. them to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, so then me and Tommy would just, like, rewrite, rewrite until they were, like, happy. And then it just got so watered down. And it was like so far from like the tone of the funeral episode. Mm. Like every subsequent episode was like clearly fiddled with. Yeah. The funeral they didn't fiddle with because like literally an intern mm. ran that. Somebody from Comedy Central was like, yeah, do whatever you do. Whatever, who do I email the money to? Like he yeah. like didn't know yeah. how to handle. <laughs> We're going to bury this on the website. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do whatever you want. Yeah. And then it did well. And then all of a sudden other people came in and they were like, damn. Yeah. That's him. With you harboring those feelings, would you have to turn the channel anytime you saw a gaping asshole? <laughs> <laughs> it did. I, 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 I can't maintain an erection looking at a gaping asshole <laughs> to this day, actually. You just put the popcorn on the table and leave your wife to watch it by herself. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. <laughs> she looks over. I'm like biting my lip with like a single tear going down my face. She's like <laughs> thinking about what could have been. She's like holding your leg, trembling. <laughs> Going through it together. One of the kids walks down because he's thirsty and sees you two crying over a gaping asshole video. <laughs> My son sent me a goatsy. I'm like, you think this is fucking funny? <laughs> you know what this does? You all right? I learned about watching you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But again, dude, like I said, like, dude, I said this on the Patreon episode last week, man. Just fucking... Being in front of, a, like, I don't know, just being in a place with you guys where I know we're going to say something that's going to do something to someone's brain, like, with my boys is, like, the it's the same feeling I had, like, watching Saturday Night Live reruns when I was a kid. Uh -huh. I was like, hell yeah, dude, this is just, yeah. these are just, like, legit boys making each other laugh. And fun. I, it's my favorite thing in the world. It's fun. That's it. Just trying to have fun. Yeah. That's all. One, one, of, one of the cooler aspects this time around was getting to work with H. Foley. Oh, my God. He, I mean, I, I knew he was fucking hilarious, but at the same time, like, seeing him in that kind of em environment be that fucking funny, it was the same thing that I just talked about. Like, when I when I work with him, it's just, like, watching, just wondering yeah. what he's going to say next. Yeah. Like, the one thing that, I, I, I won't say, just in case you put it in a uh, in something else. Oh, no, I don't mind. Oh, it was, it was the joke he made about his niece identifying as Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, that made me laugh so fucking hard. I was trying to tell H. Foley how, how gifted of an actor I think he is when they were on here. And he was like, ah, stop. He did like the thing that normal people should do where he's yeah. like, all right, yeah. shut up. Nah, yeah. come on. He's a, that's why, that's what makes you laugh so much about H. Foley is like, um, he, he's, he's so, uh, I don't know, like fluid as an actor that like when he does something legitimately funny, it's like, I would have never seen that coming because mm -hmm. he was, you know what I mean? It's like, wow, yeah. that too, also that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's what I love. He's a legitimately good actor. Yeah. yeah, he's like an actual like, I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. I, I've never like met a fucking Philip Seymour Hoffman type. But like you're in a room with a guy who's like, man, he just just turned into that guy, yeah. and he was just that guy all day. Mm -hmm. and then he left. He was like, hey man, great seeing you. And I was like, well, how well, the fuck did you do that? I was also, like, at at our level, when you meet someone that's taking acting seriously, it's like, oh, oh my god. god, this is this is a person who should be building bombs. <laughs> 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 yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. There's nothing spookier than a person taking se acting seriously at our level, at our at our lot in life. It's one of the. It's well, I, when unhinged. they do it bad. True. I feel like when someone takes it seriously and they do it well, you're like, all right, that's fine. Yeah, but when someone's doing well, 
there's also not that like that dread. There's not that cloud over him. It's like, oh, he's taking acting seriously. You know what I mean? Right, I mean, right, right, right. It's people who come in and and the, the their ability to seem natural in in any situation is just like you don't you don't. It's like a guy that dresses well. You just don't notice what he's wearing. Right. But yeah. when a guy dresses bad, you're like, what a fucking lunatic <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy yeah, right, is. Right. That's how I feel about acting. Terrible. And he, dude, he said something that made me love him even more when. Um, I posted the picture of just us hanging out in the parking lot a few weeks ago, and right underneath he wrote, "God, I look so fat." <laughs> he posted that under my picture too. I posted a picture and was like, "Man, I'm fat." That's where it was. It's like, damn, dude. Yeah. Oh That's man, comment. I keep. I can never remember the name of his web. The, he, he made a web series, and uh, it's it's worth watching just to like enjoy him fucking being in the moment where he's walking so, around with the girl eating. Yeah, right? yeah. There's a couple of them. And they're like, the just was one takes. It's so fucking good. Is it? It's like it's like something simple, not like the breakup or the. Um, it's not the breakup. It's something God, like that. God, I don't know what it's fucking called. Maybe somebody in the somebody in the chat knows. Yeah, I've had too many head injuries. I fuck around. It's kind of sick that that chat's right there. But you, uh, you had um, you, you triggered a similar thing in my brain. You know what? I I didn't even realize until like today that <laughs> the you... penguin. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. <laughs> new, yeah, I think it is new couple. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Yeah, his web series is a drama. It may be a drama, but he's just so. Uh, oh, he's oh Shaft knew I was fucking looking there at the chat. Is. There he is. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> fuck you. Now I'm not gonna look at it. Yes, I am wearing Chelsea boots, but they're not Chelsea. Fuck, you know what? <laughs> this is why I don't fucking look at your chat. Every Get time him, I look chat. at your chat, they're like, ah. They're like, this they're- is why he doesn't suck his own dick in public. Yeah. No, I'm putting it back up there. There you go, dude. It's waterproof. Mm. It's um, a regular man's boot. Have we talked about your episode think- of High Maintenance on here? No, fuck that show. Yeah, maybe fuck that show, but you you were in one of like the season finales, I think. Yeah, it was a, yeah. season two. Yeah. Season three. Season three, yeah. Dude. I was like, I I welled up with tears watching you in that episode because you were just so good. I, I only realized today that you're not in Uncle Daycare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm there. <laughs> I, I, it's like a, it's like how Catholic moms talk to you about somebody being dead. You're like you're He's like, there the whole time. <laughs> I, I, you're like a Zordon. It's like you're not actually getting in the fucking <laughs> Megazord and fighting. But. I don't want to be in this shit. I like I like watching everybody who's super talented. Take something and make it like a million times better. But you recognize that people think that about you and like. For, they, I am very appreciative and I, I am. But I don't think I'm like I don't like doing that stuff nearly as much as I like watching funny people. do. Is it is it that when you when you get in front of the camera, you have to give up something behind it? Yeah. OK, for sure. All right. Fair and enough. I also like I I could literally watch something like Uncle Take Care all day long. Mm-hmm. I could I can work on that. That's like a great day of work to me. Yeah. I just like watch the funniest people in the world be funny. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like. Oh, they like took a line and made it a million times better. Mm. It's like it doesn't get any better than that, and it just feels like I'm just working. Yeah, you know. And then like later on, nobody has to be like, "Hey, he looks like fucking who uh, Henry Zahudo." My sister just said you look like Bob Seger. Bob oh. Seger, and I was like, "Ah, oh, I have no idea what Bob Seger looks like." I don't know what Bob Seger looks like either. Yeah, you look like him. Yeah. 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 Is it just like right now because everything's grown out? Yeah. 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 I feel like it's easy for a white guy to look like that. Or yeah. A white guy. Yeah. It's, it, it seems pretty easy for you. It doesn't seem like you're going against the wind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been on the road. No, man. I like, I like not being in that stuff. I have fun not being in that stuff. Yeah. I can see it now. Okay. I mean, it's fucking. Oh, is that him? Yeah. I mean, it's right here. <laughs> you look I like mean, Bob Seger. <laughs> all right. Wowee. My favorite thing that you've looked like is uh, Kurt Russell and the Thing for Delco. <laughs> oh, yeah. I literally told Rick Giuliani to cut my hair like that. <laughs> I went to Rick Giuliani. I was like, can you give me that mullet that Kurt Russell has in the thing? <laughs> and he was like, what? And I was like, he's got basically like bangs. And as I'm telling him, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh, yeah, Kurt Russell is also extremely <laughs> handsome. <laughs> and you don't even think about that. It's like, I remember I went to, uh, oh, my God. I was like... <laughs> I like just got out of high school and I gave like the hairdresser this picture of Ryan Reynolds to cut my hair. And she was like, come on, dude. She was like, come on. And she was like, I can cut your hair. I can give you a fade 
but you're not going to fucking look like this guy. That is a big reason why I feel like it took me probably 35 years to start getting the haircuts I wanted because it's always like, make me look like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like, you know, put a nice haircut on a fucking mutant so you can show it to the lady. Yeah. And not have any kind of reservations. Yeah. And it's always, it's a, yeah, it's always like, uh, I like when someone like accidentally insults you. Mm -hmm. Like it's only happened to me like that. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll. We're like, I'll try. Yeah. Like, I'll do my best. Yeah. Like, I don't think you're going to make it out. Hey, of can this. you have a stroke within the next 15 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, one time, this is off topic, but one time I uh, I was super broke like eight years ago and I got in a car accident, like a horrible, horrible car accident and um, totaled the car. And I had like, I think like negative $20 in my bank account, something, mm. like, something like that. And I deposited the check for the car that I oh. got from the insurance company. Yeah. And the girl put them like, like at the computer was like, that'll help. <laughs> and it, was, it was so fucking funny, but also like, I always wanted to go back to that bank and be like, you're so lucky. You're like, she was, she was so charming and uh. charismatic. That'll help. I'll never forget that. Yeah. Anyways, what were you talking about? Car insurance companies got to stop sending me the money to fix the car because it never. I have two <laughs> fucked up cars right now. <laughs> Wait, do you have two fucked up cars? Yeah, both. Yeah, well, it was like parking under a fucking uh, like uh, trash compactor, just living in the hood. Like people just oh, yeah, bounce yeah, off yeah. your car and keep going. So I'm, I was kidding about them sending me the money and wasting it. That has happened in the past. I didn't waste it. I was desperate, but. I like I have so much insurance paperwork to do between the two cars I have that I'm like I'll probably just drive fucked up cars forever. Dude, I, I still think about the car accident we saw your last day out of there. <laughs> the day that we were moving him out of his house, there was this wild car accident in the middle of the street and people were chasing the car down. Really? It, it was Tim called it like the, an actual uh, accident, like a T-bone type situation. No, like a guy smashed a door off Almost of the car a that woman. Was, a woman was getting out of. Whoa. Yeah. And he just drove away. Uh, he got to the light. He got like half a block away, and yeah. they, they caught up to him. Damn. Yeah, that's 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 like that's one of the coolest. That's one of the only cool things about living in the hood is like having a neighbor who could go from almost being liquefied by a car to punching that car within like fifteen <laughs> seconds. Yeah, that was awesome. That's kind of cool. It's crazy. I've been uh, I've been following like the local news. I don't follow any news, but I've been following the local news. People are just getting shot now every day. Mm. In the neighborhood, because you okay. left, yeah, because yeah. you left. because yeah, because I, I was I was up. the last thing holding it all together. Mm. I was the one I like I I think they they I've said this before they treated me like a murderer like a like a ghost Nick Dahmer, yeah like they would cross the street they didn't really like fuck with me the way that you know I was accustomed to when I was younger they used crosswalks to cross the street or? <laughs> I no. wouldn't think like no. come on I mean in all fairness you do kind of look like a murderer yeah <laughs> yeah like when you're upright. I oh, don't dude. see you upright that often. So I, that was one of the comments I saw on <laughs> Uncle Daycare. It was like, how fucking big is Butterly? Yeah, dude, you're like seven, eight. <laughs> and it's like... It's it, sneaky. Yeah, it is. It's very sneaky. sneaky. Size. And then when you get closer, you kind of like... You you're like, like you I lunge. can definitely like, see oh. how he can suck his own dick now. <laughs> yeah. I can definitely pick up on that. It was hard to tell from across the train, but now that we're both standing <laughs> on the platform, he could definitely suck his own meat. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not there anymore. It doesn't matter, dude. They can all shoot each other. Do you ever just drive by and reminisce? Ah, uh, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, like we still have the house, and I still I'm keeping some stuff there, and I will I'll make an excuse to go there and pick something up, but it's mostly just because I want to like peep the scene. Mm. Pretty weird. Your new spot's good though. Thank got the you. Tramp dude. in the back. Got the tramp. Got the fire pit. Did you take a chicken <laughs> jump on that trampoline? Yet? I did not know. It's pretty nice. I saw Lemare almost fucking crack his skull in half. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's like a rock underneath it. Lemare did a backflip, and uh, I, his feet touched the ground through the trampoline. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he landed the backflip. He also did like one of the most beautiful backflips. He's I, graceful, man. Mm-hmm. It was like water. He was like watching a fucking lava lamp. Dude, he, like, <laughs> his like legs, he like did like a half cartwheel. <laughs> Backflip and his hand, it looks like it looked like he was doing like a back handspring, uh-huh. but his hand never touched <laughs> the tramp, so it just kind of like grazed it. It was, it was beautiful. Yeah, he's, was, like, he's like a really athletic guy in a fat suit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, somebody. Like, yeah. if, if, if I saw happen to see a video in a random place that nobody I knew would ever go on the internet and saw him ripping shit up doing parkour, I would not yeah. be surprised. 
Do yeah. you ever see the fat dude who does parkour? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wasn't he like a schizophrenic? He like lost his mind. And he I got, thought he was just a wigger. Got good at it. <laughs> he was yeah. just a wigger. No, I thought he was. Yeah, I thought he was a good parkour dude who got fat. Dude, wiggers don't. But he do kept parkour. all his skills. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's man. like the last skill they would ever <laughs> possess. The, you know, yeah, wigger parkour is like kind of like half stepping up to someone's like stoop and being like, <laughs> ah, it's like nah. <laughs> <laughs> Put one hand on like a ledge, like nah, just playing. <laughs> it's it's them nodding out and then just trying to stand back up real quick. <laughs> yeah, dude, they don't. They <laughs> yeah, they can't climb or jump too. I'm sure like the uh, the fucking walls outside of Wigger Jail are like yeah. two and a half feet tall. <laughs> you ever <laughs> they ain't make it over that? <laughs> you ever notice when Wiggers tell stories and they have to uh, like like mime running? It's like, oh, you've never run before. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I I stole Eam, right? Mm -hmm. I stole Eam. And I I dipped out and it, I I fucking ran and this oh, is how yeah. this is how they mime running. It's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. whoa, you've never you've only seen running in like Looney Tunes. You've <laughs> Dude, never run in real life. It's before. like you're you've having seen it. running on your mom's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Wow, Dude. Uh, yeah. damn! It's like so it's I like, dipped. It's like you're watching like the Total Recall robot, and it's like, uh, what? What was that? Yeah. Two weeks? Was it? Twenty dollars. <laughs> what? Twenty dollars. <laughs> Takes his own head off. Hey, my man, where's the cat? <laughs> uh, man. Same thing when they fight too. Or like when oh, they like, yeah. mom, like, like when they. Oh uh, like yeah. When, when they get the elbow up in the sky in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. They look like they all have just had bad puppeteers. Yeah. That'd be yeah. a great conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggers are all married. <laughs> like super rich black dudes. Yeah. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> they come in. Yo, what do you mean? It's like, yes. This yes, is dude. That movie's called Puppet Stepmaster. <laughs> Dude, that's what most of Tyler Perry's compound is. <laughs> just like wigger control devices. It's just Jordan Peele with a bunch of like those wooden crosses. <laughs> this white dude's like, what do you want in your coffee? <laughs> like Team America. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck. Woo. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not like that in real life though. <laughs> They're it's living a real. lot longer than they used to. You see a lot of older ones around now. Yeah. We talked about doing a, a Wigger retirement home. Oh. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. That was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, but then that, that was superseded by Wiggers in space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is when I pitched that one producer like eight Wigger ideas. He's like, you can't keep pitching new Wigger ideas. <laughs> I, 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 dude, there's a lot of them out there. I, I think now we could probably get the funding for the Wigger retirement home considering how many ate it with COVID. Be like, look, oh. we're putting all these precautions in place, and this is what we have in mind. Like, Wigger PT is just them learning how to, like, fake crossover again. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing, like, the, they're walking on, like, the those parallel bars, you know what I mean? The yeah. retrainer, but it's so he can, like, touch a door frame again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did you see that? that it was, like, a monk. <coughs> That picture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a picture of like a monk yeah. who looked like a uh, Northeast. I didn't like that. It, it, it made I me mean, uneasy. <laughs> it looked like a picture of yeah. like 90 dudes I knew yeah. growing up. Yeah. The Wigger PT, instead of like learning how to walk stairs again, ju they just do one so they can clean off their sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, this is, this is, this is great. Man, fucking awesome, this has man. been going well, huh? Yeah. I could talk wiggers all day, man. I know. Yeah, me too. Let me get some of my flurry. Excuse me. It's birthday flurry. It's at the perfect consistency for the show, too. I got a special treat for you between the uh, free episode and the Patreon. Ooh, Ooh is it a secret baby. from the audience? No. They can know. They, they can see it, but it's a surprise for you right now. We'll, te we'll tell them what we did. Whoa! Yeah, what if we start the Patreon? He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> They'll see what you did. Mm. It's good, right? Dude, I, I could, was in I that fucking Wawa around the block, mm. which is like a, I haven't been in an old-fashioned Wawa. Oh yeah, in a very long time. And there was a dude not wearing a mask yeah. at the at the register who was upset that the guy was like, "Can you just put your mask on?" He's like, "Give me a minute. Give me a minute." While he was looking through his money. It was like, well, then Christ. it's the end. Yeah. <laughs> Once you pay, you don't have to have your mask on anymore. And he was like, just give me a minute. And they looked at me like, 
And I'd be like, yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want trouble with this fucking guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that's that's toddler holding a video game controller logic. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you said you were done. He's like, I am. Hang on. He just, he just had to save. Just one that's, more. One yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> one more, dude. He just had to save before he put his mask on. That's all right, dude. Yeah. There's a lot of patriots around here. Yeah, yeah. Interesting patriots. Mm-hmm. Very, very interesting. Uh, oh, at this particular Wawa, John, one of my favorite Wawa memories came about uh, about two summers ago. It was crowded because the bars had just let out. And... Everything was at this time. Everything was touchscreen, just like it is now. And uh, a guy was trying to order a sandwich. All he wanted was an Italian hoagie. Italian fellow, by the way. And he couldn't figure out how to just hit the Italian hoagie button. Oh. And at one point, he gave up by saying, "Fuck it, I'll order a pizza." And he walked out. <laughs> I thought you meant from the touchscreen. <laughs> like, dude, it's gonna be way harder. <laughs> Siri, <laughs> show me pizza. Is there an Italian hoagie button, or do you have to? It's like no, to go to the cla- button, isn't it? to go to the classic thing, uh, and then yeah. from there you could just get Italian from there. Yeah, it's cold sandwiches. Was yeah. he, was he also pressing the buttons with the backs of his hands <laughs> as he did this over and over again? <laughs> Wait, is it, whoa, hey, what do you want? Well, you, 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 you get some kind he keeps of going back. He's just like the question. He's like, who's asking? No. <laughs> you want a long roll? No, thanks. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. That's this all they want is one Italian hoagie button. Yeah. Do you know any Italian, like, you don't have any friends that are married to Italian women? Like, full-on Italian women? Uh, I can't think of any. Like, Italian-Americans, not, like, actual, like, <laughs> like, uh, like, <laughs> like, yeah. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, there's, uh, a, there's an Italian quadrant of my family. Like, like the grabbing flowers Italian? Where they're like, listen, you don't know what you're talking about like that? Yeah, like, uh... Like my mom's house with everything covered in plastic, and she's got like that's what I mean. She's no. got like a very small kitchen table that she never leaves, and it's like the elbow on the table, cigarette like draped over the mouth, like. And I'm telling her that's why I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight you. Don't fucking tell me that. And it's yeah. like, what are you? You picked up the accent later in life. Yeah, right. <laughs> you married yeah. into a an accent in in America, which is weird. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, they sent all them COVID tests back to China, right? To remake my Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bizarre to me. But I, I get it, dude. Um, it's just, it, there, there is, seem like, I think there's some confusion about uh, whether or not, was Scarface Italian? Cuban. Cuban, right? Cuban, yeah. yeah. I was, he was almost definitely Cuban. There were there was probably a decade of my life where I was like, is this supposed to be an Italian guy? Just because of like how many Italian <laughs> people I knew and like was close with that like they like thought they were him. I think a handful of cultures have uh, have borrowed a good bit of Scarface. Yeah, have used Scarface to signify their lifestyle. Miami was like I remember like I did something in Miami last year. That's a lot, a lot of Scarface stuff down there. Yeah, I mean like a lot. Well, I just I don't have a lot of Southwest Philly family getting down to Miami, so it's it's like yeah. I, mean, I think I you was, know what happens. I, I wasn't in Miami vacationing. You, I yeah, working. right. I was like, this is where this is where I goes. Yeah. <laughs> I think what happens is uh, you you grow up as an Italian wigger, mm-hmm. you wear a suit for the first time at an uncle's funeral, and you're like, oh, oh shit. I guess I gotta Damn. do some business. <laughs> No, I think I think we could do it with four Paul Bears. We're, we're good. <laughs> Tell the other two to go. She starts haggling. Yeah. Like it is with a heavy heart. <laughs> uh, wrap it up, father. He's doing that like smoke shake thing in the chain. You're just practicing like stuffing dollar bills in people's like shirt pockets. <laughs> Wait, you went to Catholic school, right? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Were you an altar boy? Yeah. Yeah. For dude, I, I checked out like I had crippling anxiety and I made it to one mass and I was like, I can't do this. Really? Yeah. I uh I did it for a long time. And do you ever get sick from the um the incense? No, no that's my like favorite that. part. Yeah. yeah, I've seen dudes. Also, did you ever see the incense? Mm-mm. It scoop looked it like into the thing. And then yeah, like but burns. it looked like uh like rare jewels. Like it was like colored. Oh, at least in in my recollection, it looked I like they were scooping that. like little pellets of rare jewels into like and then everything obviously is like like brass and gold looking. And ornate, so it looked like a genie lamp on a chain, and they would scoop in these precious, precious incense uh, morsels. And then I don't remember ever seeing them light them. Maybe it was like already lit, and they were just throwing this on there for this. Well, and then they like, put coals inside of it. Yeah, that's probably what it was. And then the smell was so incredible. Like, and they would model, dude. They would swing. <laughs> yeah. the Now that's incense. <laughs> yeah. 
Man. They stir the incense. <laughs> and the, the sound of the chain clanging against itself as they were yeah. swinging it. Woo! That was my favorite. Dude, that was the one good e- part. Even though I only got one mass, like, I was praying that I would be the guy that got to grab the uh, the bells. Oh, yeah, I yeah, wasn't, yeah. though. It wasn't the bell we didn't have We didn't have a multiple bells situation. We had a single. Uh, we had, like, a school bell, which wasn't as cool. This one was, like, it was, like, T-shaped, and each end of the T had a bell on it. Yeah. So you could, it was like you were... Getting a grip. So, if you weren't Catholic and you're listening to this, there was a, a port. There was a part in every mass where the priest would be standing behind the altar, probably holding the Eucharist over his head, yeah. and he'd be like, "And so they said unto the Mass, Amen." And you'd be like, "Cling, cling, 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 we had a normal <laughs> belt, and then for like weddings or uh, holidays, it was the four bells on the one mm. handle. Yeah, damn, dude, you were clanging hard oh, as damn. fuck on the multiple bells, mm. dude. I used to, la- I used to laugh at funerals <laughs> all the time. It's hard not to, because I would be with like a friend. I would always be like. <laughs> With a buddy, and he'd be like, <laughs> like, that was the cool thing about like grade school. Like, you would just be with a dude who's like, <laughs> and I'd be like, stop. And he'd be like, <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> and then you would just be laughing while some dude was like, I miss my brother so much. <laughs> my buddy would be back, like, <laughs> you just hear his little tiny dumb boy. <laughs> just be laughing so hard you're inadvertently shaking the bell. <laughs> oh, I was also, they never trained us to be altar boys. It was Same. just like, go over there, wear this. Yeah. That. Uh. So I never knew when, I knew I wanted to do the bells when I saw an older kid mm-hmm. do it. I was like, dude, I got to get on those fucking bells. Mm-hmm. And I never, ever knew when I was supposed to do them. So I'd probably do them either never or yeah. I would do them like seven times too many to the point where it was like, clang, 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 clang. And the priest was like, what? the fuck are you doing dude? <laughs> yeah what yeah. You're shaking him over and stop what Man. yeah dude I, I i don't think we had training either i remember like i signed up because my mom made us sign up i remember we had to i had to do mass on christmas fucking morning mm. and i i feel like every did you have to do that well you were only did it once yeah right? no i just had a regular um I feel like every altar we went through that at some point where like they had to do it on Christmas. No morning. way, dude. That's where the scouts are going to be in the seats. Yeah, yeah, you could go pro after a good Christmas. <laughs> hey, uh, you feel like playing in the Super Bowl? <laughs> Kid, I think you yeah. got what it takes. Now suck my cock. Yeah, you're just like <laughs> shaking, crying. Like, uh, uh, uh. Um, go, yes. <laughs> That's some of the best altar boying I've ever seen. <laughs> Hands like a card. <laughs> Listen, I'm kid, when you want to get Los serious. Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, name's Frank. Frank Incense. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you heard of me. You, you ever thought about the same mass in L.A., kid? <laughs> <laughs> I think you could shake four, maybe even five bells. <laughs> Got a couple kids with me shaking seven. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear Ryan Doherty? <laughs> I found him. <laughs> Just a quick cutaway to Ryan Doherty shaking eight bells. <laughs> <laughs> it's like whiplash. He's like sweating. <laughs> <laughs> the priest is like, what Not are you doing, tempo. man? He's like, tempo. I'll, I'll kill you. <laughs> 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 the priest is just, what are you doing, man? <laughs> It's <laughs> a mouthful of communion wafers. <laughs> oh, fuck. Louder! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that actually might, an altar boy boot camp might be helpful. As long as you didn't yeah. have to stay over. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But. For the altar boys or for like adult, like, are you talking about like for adults, like an escape the room situation? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, for like altar boys to learn how to actually do it for them to be rather than just be thrown into a mess, have them go to like a training session. Ah, yeah, I think. Well, I think in the first the, you do like a I remember like we did like during the week mass mm-hmm. and they're like, you just go stand because like on a Monday morning at 630. Yeah. It's all just like people about to die. Yeah, you might as well be sweeping up a bus stop. <laughs> yeah. So like the priest can literally like 
talk about anything else. Yeah. And everyone in the crowd is just doing the rosary mm-hmm. anyway. Mm-hmm. So they were just like, yeah, I picked that up and do that. But yeah, it'd be cool if there was like a Navy SEAL like buds training for <laughs> fucking. You got st- You still got to ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, did you ever see the uh, that bud that old buds training documentary? Perhaps. Where it's like I think it's like twenty years old. I forget what it's called, but it's like Hell Week, hmm. and they like just go through like what they all have to go through. But there's one scene that I always remember. Like I think it was meant to be very serious, but it cracked me up. Where they were like running for like four days straight, just hmm. like working out, working out, working out. And then they were, like, carrying boats. Mm-hmm. And the drill instructor's like, all right, you can take a nap. And they all drop on the ground and throw the boat over them to nap, like, in a row. And they're all like... <laughs> 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 they immediately go into, like, REM 5 sleep, like, the deepest sleep I've ever seen. Like... <laughs> 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 and like, get up! Like, <laughs> are, they, are they all just trying to seem the most asleep so that it's more impressive when they wake yeah. up? That's how seal sleep, sweetheart. <laughs> they lift the boat up and one dude's just wrecking his meat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, to sleep, dude. <laughs> this is my only shot. <laughs> just some dude wrecking his meat on a run. It's like, come 40, on, man. 40 degree waves just like getting <laughs> in the face. Like, <laughs> while, while he's like holding that log. <laughs> One dude trying to get it in his mouth. Like, this is what we're trying for. Yeah, he's got his legs behind his head, and there's a dude with his armpits draped over his ankles, and then another guy behind his ankles. <laughs> They're in a chain just sucking their own dicks on the beach in 40 degree waves. <laughs> Alright, no sleep. <laughs> 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 Everywhere. <laughs> Dude, that, that's why they needed two choppers to get in the Bin Laden compound. Like one which they just dropped a bunch of dudes sucking each other, sucking each other dick, and he's looking out the window like, "What the fuck is this?" Distraction suckers. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, that. Dude, still team sucks. <laughs> Dude, that's why the dude, that's why the one the one the one chopper crashed because even the pilot was sucking his own dick. <laughs> dude, Black Hawk down. Like, there's one survivor on the ground just bleeding out, and he's like, he goes into the kit and like the, the needle in the leg, and he just starts. <laughs> but the needle gets him to do. He's like Nirvana. Like, oh, I've done it. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Yeah, there's a dude in sandals holding a rocket launcher over him. He's like, put me up, good. I'm ready. <laughs> 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 Woo! Oh. Oh man, the uh, suck locker. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said squirt locker, but great job. Oh, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh man, this is too much. Where is this? Would probably be a great time to switch over to the page. <laughs> Twenty five minutes ago would be a great time to switch over to the page. <laughs> How far in are we? I don't know. Fifty two. Yeah. We got eight more minutes to send them out sweetly. All right. All right. Oh man! On patrol, you're worried about load side bombers. <laughs> dude, splash with somebody else's cum. <laughs> what a great decoy that would fucking be, dude. <laughs> Just some dude looking at his fucking his blinds at a. <laughs> oh my god, mouth he's mouth mouth. got mouth on tip, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Well, hold like on, cheering well, hell for him. no. Well, <laughs> Tara, <laughs> Terrace gets down there like he's got to somehow motion his buddy to get his robe behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Be sick to see on that fucking night vision. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of ours. <laughs> Let him finish. <laughs> Let him finish. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's he's holding binoculars and someone's just waiting for a sign from him. He goes, "All right, send it." And the guy's like, "You got it, sir." <laughs> <laughs> just that music playing. <laughs> 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 It's like the Jerry Bruckheimer Islam music. So, <laughs> 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 There's three Jewish kids in the studio like, <laughs> 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 A guy gets hit behind sniper fire. Everyone else is behind cover. It's like, I'm going out for him. He's like, no, it's a trap. <laughs> Jenkins, get in there. And you get this other guy that goes like one step out and just like lays on the ground, starts sucking himself. And the sniper's like, what the fuck is that? While the rest of the boys scoop up the, the shot, the oh. shot guy. God damn. Dude. <laughs> 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 I respect uh, all cultures, obviously, dude. Oh, man. 
I respect that one a ton. Mm-hmm. Uh, a whole lot. Specifically? Yeah, do they... Jislam? Pre- <laughs> <laughs> Jislam. That's our common thread. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? That's what if that's what ba- like that was the tie that bonded. <laughs> you know, you yeah, know yeah. how like a North Korea and South Korea they got like a a a guard that meet there and go past each other. Yeah, yeah. Like this version is just guys rolling back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you mar- you become a martyr so you can suck your own dick seventy two times in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> you become a harder. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, All right, I'll hey, give you that one. Hey, truce. What do you think of the combat knife? By the way, I'm deb- I'm debuting this knife on the uh, on the show. The Twitch streamer, Twitch followers have, have seen this a million times, but this is my Japanese made Explorer Wilderness Two, and uh, I gotta be honest, dude, it's got a pretty good feel to it, pretty good grip, and it's got a mean. I don't know what you call this curvature at the end here. It's a devil's tooth. Is that what it's called? No. Fuck, that was so that's cool. A, that's a good Sage one. Cool. That's God, good. I almost owned something really cool mm-hmm. for a minute. You should have just let me believe it. Yeah, right. dude, you should be a knife namer. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in our guy. <laughs> plane lands. Like, there's only one guy for this job. <laughs> he gets off. Devil's tooth. Back on the plane. <laughs> Cut the check. <laughs> yeah. Best we got. It feels like I can really defend myself with this. Yeah. I retired my, uh, my Jacob, my Jacob Amin knife from the uh podcast that's that's in the kitchen forever now oh yeah. i thought you were gonna say you threw it into the ocean <laughs> no dude that's what you have to do when i die you gotta throw my my almond forge knife into the ocean that's a pretty sick one yeah grab it dude it, <laughs> grabbing it by the fucking <laughs> knife yeah. Yeah. how do i do it how do i do it yeah <laughs> now before i give it to you i will say you have never held a knife that felt as comfortable in your hand as this one will feel okay this is true look at that wow is this the one the guy made yeah this yeah. is fucking beautiful. Yeah. And he, it was a gift. He just wanted, he was like, hey, I just want to make something and send it to you guys. God damn, this is like the uncut gem in Uncut Gems. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that movie with the, un, with the uncut gem? Very Jewish Adam Sandler. Oh my powerful? God. I'm going to come here. Don't I'm you do it like this? <laughs> <laughs> damn. Yeah. That's a weighty fucking knife. Hmm. Oh, dude, there was a there was a message I didn't get back to you yet. But if you're listening to this, if you reached out to me about the work that you do with uh, like the the resin castings and shit and the uh, antique guitar wood, I am going to get back to you. I read your message and I didn't want to just be like hell yeah. So I uh, oh you're talking. I got I got you're wound like up fucking sleep talking. I was like, what the yeah, fuck sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry about. Oh no, I just felt very poorly about that <laughs> instantly. I left someone hanging. I left a bunch of people hanging. This has been a busy week for me. Um, if you're listening to this and you're waiting for me to get back to you, it's coming. I'm, I'm, I promise I didn't wait until Christmas and become a piece of shit. Mm. Oh, man. All right. I'm ready to slide over the Patreon now. Let's do Bef- it. Before we do that, Tim, can you hand me that satchel under the desk? This one? Yeah. I just want to talk a second. See, is this a fanny pack? Uh, no. Could it be one? If you I feel like I could wield be. this as a fanny pack. See, that's how big you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking backpack for me. <laughs> Where this so, Jansport has a uh, <laughs> a couple things I want to mention about our sponsor. You hear me talk about the uh, lawnmower 3.0 a lot. This is what it looks like. And watch this. It's got a light on there, Ooh. so you know exactly where you're going. Hmm. So I've been singing this one's praises for a few weeks now. Is that what company is that? Uh, Manscaped. All right, I didn't want to say it. Then you if, fucking yeah. lose your sponsor. Oh boy, wait, wait, you fucking go to manscaped.com. Use promo code FATBIRD to get twenty percent off and free shipping whatever you order. Not only did, did you I trim your nuts with that. Yes, you. I feel more comfortable with blade first. With yeah. Blade first. Look at the, look at the guard. <laughs> <laughs> the guard makes all the difference. John, not only did I shave my entire body with this, but I'm wearing the underwear right now. Super comfortable. I wore the t-shirt today. Super comfortable. And I've also delved into their um, their crop preserver, which is ball deodorant. Right before when I got out of the shower, right before the show tonight. I was like, Jamie, my wife, I got, I got to put this on. Tell me what you think of it. I stood over her. I slapped some on my balls. I said, smell these. She smelled them. She's like, that smells delicious. And guess what she did right then? She sucked on your balls. Immediately. <laughs> really? <laughs> Immediately, wow. I like did, no did no you, snow, wow. no snap of the fingers, nothing. Did you run wow. this copy by Manscaped before you? Started I did not. It? No, <laughs> that's pretty great. If somebody could animate this and put like yeah. his dick under a box, yeah. and he pulls the string when Jamie gets in there. So this is the Manscaped crop preserver. Um, I can't guarantee you that your loved one will do this, but my wife slurp is everything. It powder or is it? 
A gel. It's it's gel. You want to put it on your hands? It's it's good. Yeah. yeah. Here. This and would now. be a great. This would be a great fucking Persian dude in the Jesus. middle of the mall. <laughs> Put I mean, if, put I it on a, if I would give uh, one fucking that. suggestion to Manscaped, is make it not look like cum. <laughs> <laughs> Smell it. Dude, if this is cum. <laughs> gotcha! This would be the greatest prank of all Mike, time. Mike, you little stinker. <laughs> all right, I gave you a little oh, Dude, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> No, hey, no, wipe no, it, put, put some on my hands, John. It smell so good, though. Why did you Look squirt that, so much? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's definitely calm, dude. That's right. calm, dude. <laughs> Promo code FATBIRD. Yeah. Manscaped.com. They'll send you a bottle of calm, dude. It's going to be great. <laughs> it Jesus did. Christ. Dude, what a trick that is. Wow. My Try goodness. it. It smells great. Like, it smells like calm. <laughs> <laughs> it smells a little bit like calm. Yeah. <laughs> What's it smell like? It smell, dude, like here, roast beef it sandwich? It smells very good. Ooh, I'd suck that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It you heard it here. Like polo sport. Yes, that's a great comparison. Yeah. God, I remember polo sport. I would still wear that if it was. Mike, what else do you got for us? Um, Frowned upon. That's all I have in the bag here. I have the charger for the lawnmower 3.0. Right. I can't say enough about this. And like I said, it's got the little light on it too, so it's easy to see where you're going with it. Wow. Uh, John, I set out to save just shave just my pubes. I shave my entire body. Some Entire of my body, some of my body too. Everything. He really? Stop. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like when I run to the next. Page. <laughs> but and I All did right, fuck yeah. one charge. Like this is still operating off the initial charge from when I shaved my entire body. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty great. It's it's incredible. Mike, you took this ad read really seriously, and I'm really proud of you for doing that. How much? Is I that know. Been? I know. We were fucking with you the whole time. These are eighty bucks. And I promise you, you will not find a better and it's 20 body off? trimmer. It's 20% wow. off and you get free money shipping. On a high quality product. Well, the tough thing is, you ever, like, I guess you trimmed your balls with, I mean, you had to. Oh, yeah. With a fucking yeah. wall. With fucking medieval fucking yeah. swords. Yeah, dude, that's the worst. You ever get nicked? Yes, yeah, every worst. single time, dude. Every single time. Every single every time. Every fucking time I get nicked. Because you know what the fucked up part is? is? Like, if you trim your sideburns with a pair of clippers, you're just like, dude, you'll hit yourself in the face with them. You don't care. Right. As careful as you try to be. On your balls with any kind of clippers, you are shredding your sack every single time. Yeah. yeah. Every single time. I'm like a surgeon, dude. And it's like it's like it's like fucking rubber coral reef. Like it never gets <laughs> flat enough to shave right across it. So you're like, I'm definitely nicking some of that. Maybe I'm the yeah. only one with wrinkled balls <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, it it does. It feels like John, you might be an above average knicker. <laughs> You are, you might I don't I mean to use the K word here, but you, it sounds like you nick more than other people. <laughs> That's manscaped.com, promo code fatbird. Jake, play us off. We're going to the Patreon. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs>